here's a question that attorneys get asked all the time, and that is, can I represent myself? Can I just do this myself? Especially family law attorneys get asked this a lot. The answer is two part. First, can you legally represent yourself in court? Sure, you can legally represent yourself. However, the second part of it is, do you know how to adequately represent yourself in court? And the answer to that is no. If you knew how to do this adequately, you wouldn't be talking to an attorney in the first place. There is no way in two or three visits even to an attorney that you could learn enough to adequately represent yourself in court. It takes longer to become a licensed attorney than it does to become a licensed commercial airline pilot. If you wouldn't trust yourself to land a plane without any training, why would you trust yourself to handle your own divorce and risk your property, your future property, and your kids over trying to save some money by representing yourself? Sure, attorneys are expensive, but that's because we have spent a lot of time getting the education that we need and the experience that we need and a lot of money investing in ourselves so that we can do this adequately. You know, you can do a lot of things yourself that are not advisable to do yourself. You can do your own plumbing, your own electrical work, and your own root canals even, but you're in the end going to hurt yourself and destroy your property, and it's going to cost you more to have somebody fix what you messed up. You know, there is a saying that they teach lawyers in law school, and that is a lawyer who represents himself in court has a fool for a client. Not Attorneys don't even represent themselves in their own divorces. Divorce attorneys hire other divorce attorneys to represent them when they get a divorce, and that is because you cannot be objective in your own case. You are too emotionally involved and too much is at stake for you to be able to balance all the things that have to be done and to, to objectively decide what is important to present to the judge and what is just not going to be a winning argument. You know, um, even though that you can represent yourself, it's going to cost you more in the end because there are things that you will mess up that cannot be fixed. And you can't even appeal the case unless you properly set it up during trial. There will be th more money involved in an attorney trying to fix this down the road than if you just hired an attorney in the first place. The law is constantly changing. The laws get changed by the legislature every two years. They are always messing with the family law um, statutes. But beyond that, the courts of appeals and the Texas Supreme Court meet every weekday, and they are constantly coming out with new rules, new procedures, new ways of putting on evidence. And our court system is just not user-friendly. Although you can get forms online, they don't tell you how to fill the form out in such a way that you will have preserved um, the ability to enforce what you wrote. They don't tell you how to do it in such a way that what you put in there is not illegal or unenforceable. And they don't tell you how to set a hearing or how to present the evidence that has to be presented to the judge in order for the judge to approve what you wrote. There are many ancillary documents, um, additional documents that have to be done, not just the final decree of divorce, in order to separate out property, retirement plans, in order to get child support established and to get visitation um, established. And even though you may be very smart, there is no way that you can have the experience and the education that a lawyer would have to be able to adequately represent you in your own divorce. So no matter how smart you are, 
it is never a good idea to represent yourself. My name is Laura Hurd, and I've been representing people in San Antonio, Texas for over 35 years. I would be glad to talk to you about your divorce. I do. I did. I'm done. Come see me. <laughs>